Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Subscribe and select alerts to keep up to date with the daily content. Also remember, take a look at the Patron link in the description and the Gyrocopter Pilot Development Clinic for tailored advice. In this film, we look at differences training. Differences training is exactly as the name suggests and in some countries it is a requirement of the National Licensing Authority. But in very many others, it is left to the discretion of the individual. In my opinion, it is an essential and important piece of pilot training. The basics suggest that if you are moving from perhaps a single seat aircraft to a dual aircraft, some training may be required, or perhaps transition from a dual seat aircraft in tandem configuration to one with seating in side-by-side -side format. There's a little bit more than seating position as all these tandem two-seaters demonstrate and in my own opinion I think it's quite fundamental to take some form of differences training and more importantly get it refreshed for every make and model of gyroplane you fly. Many pilots undertake no formal differences training at all and not only does it inevitably lead to accidents of varying degrees of severity but it leads to distraction as unfamiliarity with your environment creates an uncomfortable feeling. Very often pilots are not even aware of the issue until there is some form of urgency or emergency or a moment in the flight that requires immediate attention and suddenly the pilot is behind the aircraft and consequently the situation creating a danger to both themselves, passenger and anyone else sharing the same airspace. Being able to act in the right way could one day save your life. It isn't just the basics from the POH either. Little technical differences or cockpit layouts and processes are all there ready to snag you. We've already talked recently about a 915 Cavalon and its short field takeoff procedure, but just look at the number of variations in the cockpit layouts of other Cavalons, and that's before you drill down into the variation in avionics. It's easy to miss, especially if you've done your training on one Cavalon, thinking every other Cavalon is the same. But you need to know the difference because one day it could very well make a difference. And often you can't rely on the selling dealer to give you any better pointers. It also has the potential to really spoil what should be an otherwise very happy and enjoyable experience, i.e. early flights in your new aircraft as it did with this pilot from Australia and his new ELA. This new pilot was in a new aircraft with different engine characteristics and while he had flown some training on the accident aircraft, the training was in very different conditions and prior to a long Christmas break. His full story can be found in the description. Low time student pilots and pilots are out doing any kind of test or fault finding should stop and think before making a flight either without first seeking help or advice from an instructor pilot. Or as this student pilot found, lightning can strike twice. You really couldn't make it up. But first and all new at six, shocking new information in that double aircraft crash and rescue in Polk County. The pilot of the gyrocopter explaining in his own words what really happened out in that field. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. We're now learning the rescue you watched play out live on ABC Action News was even more dramatic than we knew that day. The first pilot says he was actually on the sheriff's office helicopter thinking he was being rescued when it also went down. Our Nicole Greg walking us through the new videos from that pilot. You saw the video of that miraculous rescue play out live here, and now the pilot rescued says he crashed not once, but twice. That second time while dangling from the side of the Polk County Sheriff's Office helicopter. In the first public video yes, posted to social media, it's Where's hard to hear. That's the because bike. the pilot says his phone was full so of mud. Yeah, we, we can hardly stand here. Jeff Wright, with an accent covered in mud, describes how you sink in the soft clay. We can hardly stand here because you just sink. He's standing on the grass because you sink straight to your Right crashed his gyrocopter in a swampy field. Aircraft down. 
And tonight, the sheriff's office confirming that Wright was on the sheriff's helicopter, dangling from the side when their helicopter went down and what they say was a very low altitude. I just had an MRI on my shoulder just to check what's going on. In a second video, you can hear the pilot much more clear. That what happened. It was really incredible to be involved in two, two crashes. <laughs> We have a visual on the pilot and he looks, appears to be fine. He's standing up and waiting. We watched as the sheriff's pilot was standing in the brush and right laid there, both waiting for a third helicopter, this time the U.S. Coast Guard to the rescue. I don't want to go another helicopter, thank you very much. This is really the first time we were able to get information out of the sheriff's office. They say that's because the FAA is still investigating. As for that sheriff's pilot, he's been cleared to work but is not back to flying. Reporting in the studio, Nicole Gregg, ABC Action News.